Good timing, I guess. We're having a party. Who likes games? Oh, me! Blind man's bluffer's down there, and leapfrogger's up there. <laughs> Time for a game of disappearing bears. <laughs> I don't know why, I really love the way he says that one line. Time for a game of disappearing bears. It almost sounds like he's channeling Christopher Walken. It just cracks me up. Time for a game of disappearing bears. This is not over! Bears! So Darkheart plans to capture all of the Care Bears together with... a bag. The Lord of Evil's secret weapon is a bag. Hey, here's a crazy idea. Um, remember when you turned into that giant killer dragon before? Um, why don't you just do that again? I mean, I know it's not as subtle as a bag, but I think it would still be much more effective. We're terribly sorry. Can we give you a hand? No. 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 You Keep your kindness and affection to yourself. It's Darkheart. So Darkheart shows off his real form, but luckily Trueheart and Nobleheart are there to lead the attack against him. You have won today, but I'll be back. So Nobleheart and Trueheart try to track him down and defeat him once and for all, leaving the rest of the Care Bears to look after the Earth. But Darkheart goes back to Christy to ask about that favor she promised him. I want to trap the Care Bears, and I have a plan. The world must learn to fear me, Darkheart! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I've been saying his name wrong the whole time. It isn't Darkheart, it's Darkheart! And what if I refuse to help you? What then? Do you want to go back to being the little girl who never won anything? The one who always came in last? Oh no! Yes, it's either help the Lord of Darkness rule the Earth, or be pissy poor at sports! Don't make her choose! So of course, like an idiot, she agrees, and they go riding into the night. Come now, we're wasting time. Whoa. Hey, this is a lot like those Twilight movies- No, it's not! We're butch compared to that shit! So Christy and Darkheart plan a trap for the bears by making it look like she's stuck in a canoe. Help! Um, is this really a Care Bear related matter? I mean, it's not like she doesn't care that she's in the canoe. Oh! Yeah! Yay, he got to use his fucking little bag. I guess it can make a handy weapon if you force it on the scenario. It's Darkheart! You mean Darkheart! Well, we can't just sit here. We have to help that little girl. Secret Bear and I saw her throw her paddles into the water. She's working with Darkheart! Judas! Why so glum, Christy? You're doing a great job. There will be no one left to stop me. Ah! Whoa! Wow. Dark Heart! He's a bit of a klutz, isn't he? But luckily, Christy has a soft spot for satanic spawns of darkness. You saved me. Why? You're still a person. If you knew what was good for you, you would have left me. Yeah, I have to admit, tripping and hitting your head on a canoe is a pretty funny way to go for the ruler of all evil. What's that? He hit his head on a canoe and drowned. Huh. I can't believe we were actually afraid of this guy. Well, let's break out the peppermint shops. So just like the first film, Dark Heart turns all the people in the world into jerks. With Christie's help, Dark Heart had trapped almost every one of the Care Bears and Care Bear cousins. How? I mean, did she really keep calling for help and those fuzzy little idiots kept going after her? How many times do you fall for that? Each time we go to help someone in trouble, that someone could be Christy setting another trap. Hey, here's an idea. Why don't you just not go after Christy? I mean, this is really simple. If you hear her screaming, just don't go. How fucking hard is that? Help! Help! Nope, nope, not interested, no. Oh, somebody help me! No, 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 I can't hear you. Help! So 
Until the Care Bears get the two kids together and decide to put a stop to Dog Hot Evil. They end up at his hideout, which, conveniently enough, happens to be right at the campground. There's Braveheart's signal. No! Oh, we thought it was something else. So they go into Skeletor's workout basement, only to find that Dog Hot is there waiting for him. Now I have you, uh... You can't keep us in here, Darkheart. Oh, I don't intend to. I have a very special place all set. Uh, but that will keep until after I've rested. Yeah, I guess the Lord of Darkness is sleepy. Kind of odd, you'd think he'd be more awake for the destruction of his mortal enemy. But that little star and heart come in to pick the locks. Good work. Oh no, Little Star Buddy can't unlock all these doors. You're right, and we don't have much time. Well, I guess the rest of you gotta die. Toodles! No, they go to get the key from around his neck, as he keeps changing shape as he snoozes. Any logical person would just squash the bastard while he's a frog, but that wouldn't be caring enough. Ow! But the plan backfires as he banishes all the Care Bears into little red crystals. The kids show up to see the evil he's done, Christy included. And the caretakers show up as well. The time has come to put an end to your evil trickery. Ah. Uh. What was that? Did he just lay an egg? Ah. Uh. So Christy gets zapped, but manages to use her marbles and get the chandelier down. That well, was a good thing she knew that would work, and not shatter them into a million bloody pieces. No! Have I done? No, really, what have I done? I, I, I don't, don't know what this is. is. Help me, Care Bears. We, we can't. can't. It would take more love and caring than even we have. If you can't help, who can? Nobody, she screwed. Bye! We care. We all really care. If all of us and everyone everywhere all care together, it just might be enough to save Christy. And when we say everywhere, we mean specifically the few dollar theaters that were desperate enough to show this film. We care. We care. If you have ever cared, we do it now. Care. Help us. Tell us you care. Tell your friend next to you that you care. Tell them how much you care. Tell them again. Say it. Shout it! We Help care. us! We care! We care! We care. <laughs> I believe in Santa Christ! What? Oh, nothing. Sorry. Um, force I have it. Oh, okay. Uh, uh. <sighs> Fucking bears! I know the feeling. I care. I care! Now, just out of curiosity, Devil Sage, what evil underlining message were you trying to get across here? More abortions. What? This is recommending abortions? Yes. I'm actually surprised you don't see the connection, really. You see, the girl is like the fetus, and the Care Bears are like the scalpel. Okay, never mind, let's just get through this. Of course, Christy comes back to life despite your inevitable empty silence, and everything seems to be alright. <laughs> That didn't happen, but they do escape in time and find that everybody's okay. Your eyes! Look! I'm a boy! A real boy! Whoopee! So it turns out the evil Hellspawn all this time just wanted to be a real little boy. Who knew? Hell, maybe even Pinocchio had a similar backstory. I'm a real boy! <laughs> So they have a little song, go swimming in the pool together, and then we get this scene. My wishing star has guided all you do. My empty heart you fill. We still feel forever young. 
sorry folks, but the movie theaters were very specific about a 90 minute running time. It's basically over, this is all just filler. You can leave now if you want. This love will keep protecting us. Really? It's just more of this. We're not building up to anything. See? Told ya. Hell, we're even gonna run the credits as slow as a snail. Thanks for watching and remember, you paid money for this! So that's Care Bears Movie 2, A New Generation, and... I can't believe I'm saying this, but... It's not as good as the original. And of course, the first film is bad, but it did have a three-act structure and some understanding of character. This movie's just a mess and a bore. Outside of maybe the kid characters, no one in this movie is given enough screen time to build any character development. I mean, even very basic development. The story's all over the map, that is when it's not just rehashing the first movie again. And of course, there's a million confusing plot holes about the basic origins of these guys. It's just a lame, lame movie. All these sequels were lame! If I had my way, I'd have them eradicated from my memory! I can make that possible, you know. Really? You can? Yes. It is totally within my powers. Oh god, that'd be wonderful! Go ahead and do it! By the powers, powers of darkness. darkness. By, by the minions of hell. By, by the- Did you really think I was the devil? What? The devil. Did you really think I was the devil? I was the freaking devil? I bought this costume at a freaking Walmart! Oh. You're- you're not the devil then, huh? No! Ugh, what a shame. I was gonna give you everything to get rid of these sequels. Everything? Yeah, everything. Um, congratulations! You passed the I'm not the devil test. You passed with flying colors. <laughs> I was just testing to see how strong your faith really was. How does that work? Never mind. Anyway, I can remove all these memories of these bad sequels, and all you have to do is wire every bit of your money into my PayPal account. Done! Wow. So, you get rid of all the sequels from my memory? Oh yeah, sure. Oh, oh yes. Oh, I can feel them perishing from my mind. Yeah, it'll do that. Oh, it's incredible. Oh, oh, and they're totally gone. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Is there anything else I can do for you, Mr. Elzebub? Hmm? Oh, uh, jump off a cliff or something. Yes, sir! My god. Maybe I am the devil. to say but he's perfect in every way time for a game of disappearing bears